Hey guys, I'm Kate and in this video I'll be doing my review of In the Miso Soup by Ryo Murakami. So this book is about this guy named Kenji and he is in his early 20s and he is a tour guide of underground sex, sex clubs in uh, Japan, in Tokyo, Japan. And one day he receives a phone call from a guy named Frank and Frank is this American businessman and he wants Kenji to be his guide. Uh, of course Kenji accepts this offer because he really needs the money and when he uh, first meets Frank he senses that something is wrong with him, he is really weird and soon Kenji starts to suspect that uh, Frank is somehow connected to these murders that are happening in Tokyo, Japan, these brutal and gruesome murders. So this book is a mix of thriller and horror but mostly it is an analysis of, and critique of modern society in Japan. It describes sex industry in Japan really well and you can see the differences between sex industry there and sex industry in the West Western countries. You can see that a lot of young teenage girls are involved in this sex industry in Japan and it is a real big problem. But uh, besides that it deals with uh, loneliness in modern society. It uh, describes how these uh, men the, uh, go to these underground sex clubs not looking for sex but they are looking for companionship they are really lonely they don't have friends and they uh, uh, they don't have any love in this in their lives and they're trying to cope and deal with it so they, they visit these uh, sex clubs they don't uh, they are not looking for sex, they are paying these girls to talk to them and reading about that made me really really sad not having anyone to talk, just to talk with is is really really sad uh, and the way Murakami describes these sex clubs and these sleazy parts of Tokyo and when you read uh, about Frank and his thoughts and his story it really brings uh, it really builds this builds this unsettling atmosphere that contributes to uh, to uh, to experience of reading this book uh, it when frank talks about himself and his life uh, he as i said kenji thinks he is really weird but kenji somehow uh, finds similar similarities between him and Frank and that really scares Kenji. These thoughts that Kenji has are making him wonder about himself and who he really is. If you're interested in reading this book, uh, I must warn you, it is really graphic. There, there are parts with uh, violence that is described into detail and it is quite disturbing and if you don't like stuff like that this book is not for you i read that ryu murakami has in his in all of his book he has these parts with overly graphic uh, violence the violence is not uh, described throughout the whole book but there are a couple of parts where it is quite uh, disturbing so that was my review of In the Miso Soup by Ryo Murakami. Have you read this book? Have you read any books by Ryo Murakami? This was my first, but I definitely plan to read more of his uh, work. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!